Buenos dias, amigos. Soy yo, Stephanie, de Apex Languages. And it's time for Gramatica Grandiosa. Uh, in case you were wondering how to say Happy Mother's Day in Spanish, Feliz Día de las Madres. Feliz is happy. Día is day. Madre, we've seen that, right? So, one more time. Feliz Día de las Madres. Uh, but we're not going to spend too much time on that. You already know how to say all your family members. Instead, today, I'm going to teach you two new verbs. Saber y conocer. Recently, we've been talking a lot about verbs, important stuff. In particular, I've introduced you to both the AR and ER verb groups. Here I've got a chart that uh, just compares the different conjugations. So the good news is that for yo, I, that first person singular, the form is the same regardless. You just add an O. So enseño, I teach. Ayudo, I help. Leo, I read. Comprendo, I understand. It's maybe a hair more tricky when you get to your third person. Okay, third person, of course, is the formal you, usted, and then more traditionally, uh, he and she and it, etc. Okay, but it's still not that hard because AR verbs have an A and ER verbs have an E, right? So, enseña, ayuda, lee, comprende. In the plural, the third person plural, the only difference is that you mark that it's they versus he with an N. Not an S, I know. It could be, wor it could be better, but uh, the N means third person plural. Okay? So, enseñan, ayudan, leen, comprenden. ¿Comprenden ustedes? Do you understand? Let's practice. So, how would you say, I read the word? The word is la palabra. We learned that word last time. Figure, if I'm teaching you words, it's a good word to know. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I read the word. Leo la palabra. Remember, you want to try to get in the habit of not using your pronouns. Okay? Because native Spanish speakers, they use them for emphasis. Okay, and for the record, they're just as likely to say Leo yo la palabra as they are to say yo Leo. That's something worth keeping in mind. Their subject can move around because it's optional. It's just there for stress. So Leo la palabra. I read the word. The teacher reads the word. Okay, how would you say that? What's the word for teacher? We have two, profesor and maestro, but um, let's use uh, profesor, right? You're adults, you're more likely to run into a profesor. La profesora lee la palabra. Okay, so ella lee la palabra. Because it's that third person singular, we want to use the Asia form, which is lee. And again, that's a little hard to pronounce. One more time with me, le. Okay, I want to hear two e's as much as possible. La profesora le la palabra. What about the student? I got a guy student over here. Um, how do you say student again, my students? Estudiante. So, el estudiante le la palabra. Same thing, Asia, el, same form, le. Finally, they read the word. Leen la palabra. Ellos leen la palabra. Now, let's practice comprender. I don't understand the word. <laughs> Very useful phrase for you to learn right now, okay? I don't understand the word. No comprendo 
la palabra. So I touched on this briefly last time. Spanish doesn't use do. English is weird. English is the weird one here. Do is a pain in the butt. Instead of saying, uh, I do not, they just say, I know, understand. This makes your life easier, trust me. So, I know, understand, no comprendo la palabra. The nurse doesn't understand the word. How do you say nurse? Well, this is a, a, a male nurse in the picture. He's got his little hat. Uh, so, that's el enfermero. Although, you know, you're, you're more likely, uh, nurse is traditionally female, so you're more likely to hear enfermera in general. Uh, but this is a guy, so we're going to call him el enfermero. El enfermero no comprende la palabra. Oh, that's long. Let me say it one more time. El enfermero no comprende la palabra. So again, before comprendo, now it's comprende. And don't forget, no understand. The doctor doesn't understand. How do you say doctor in Spanish? Doctor, the same, but she's a female, so doctora, doctora. La doctora no comprende la palabra. Okay. Finally, they don't understand the word. No comprenden la palabra. Ellos no comprenden la palabra. So now you're all warmed up on those ER verbs. Let's learn some new ones. Saber y conocer. Repeat after me. Saber. 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 Conocer. 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 Now, both of these are a little irregular, but just in the first person uh, singular form, it was too easy for you anyhow. Okay? Saber, really weird, is yo sé. Notice there's an accent there. I uh, introduced, like with reflexive pronouns, um, se uh, shows up quite commonly in, in Spanish. Okay? Uh, se llama, right? His name is. So, to emphasize that you're talking about the verb, se does have an accent. That's the reason it's there to distinguish. Doesn't make any pronunciation difference in a word this short. Uh, similarly, el and el, uh, if you're saying he, that has an accent for the same reason, just to distinguish that it's he, not the. Okay, so in any case, yo sé. At least it's easy to pronounce, right? Sé. But then the rest follow the same pattern. Sabe. Saben. So let's do those three forms. Sé. Sabe. Saben. For conocer, the difference is the... Z. And the reason that that's there is just like in English, if you were to put a, a C next to an E, it's soft. It makes an S sound. But if you put a C next to an O, it's hard. And so because of that sound change, they, the word developed this way. Okay? So pronounce, uh, repeat after me. Conozco. Conozco. At least this way, still got a little bit of an S sound. Plus, these are fun. Okay, so yo conozco. But the rest, again, are regular. Conoce, conocen. Ellos conocen. Uh, so, again, uh, conozco, conoce, conocen. What do these words mean? To know. Did you know that? Um... They both mean to know. And so uh, this is another one, just like ser and estar, where you, in theory, they mean the same thing, but Spanish makes a difference, okay? Saber means to know something. Conocer means to know someone. So you use conocer with people or even cities, okay, places that you uh, have gotten to know as if they were a person, but things that you know, I know the answer, I know how to do something, those things you use saber, 
¿ok? So, saber, know something, conocer, know someone. So, here I've got my little trabajadores again, Antonio, Carolina y Javier. Let's make some sentences with them. Javier knows Antonio. How would you say that? Well, what kind of know are we talking about? Does he know a thing or does he know a person? Obviously a person, right? So I would use conocer. Javier conoce a Antonio. Now we see this ah again. And we've seen it in the past. I said, I'll tell you about it later. I guess I better tell you about the ah. In Spanish, when you have a person being used as a direct object, direct object is the what. So you know what. Antonio, right? Direct objects come after the verb. Your subject comes before it. So direct object knows what, says what, uh, does what. Those are all direct objects. So here you've got a person. He knows what or, you know, who <laughs> technically here knows Antonio. Well, we put the A in front of it because he's a person. And that's just the rule. Okay, so when your direct object is a person, you put A uh, in front of it. Um, we had the doctor knows the patient. La doctora conoce al paciente. So the al paciente is what you, you've seen before. Um, so you can use it in front of names, but you know, if you want to combine it with the, keep in mind that if it's masculine, if you're combining a and el, it becomes one word. So al paciente, but if this was a female patient, conoce a la paciente, a los pacientes, a las pacientes. The only one that combines is a and el because you've got the two vowels there. Okay. Uh, so keep that in mind, though. If there's a person in your direct object, uh, just add the A. Okay. Let's go back to making more sentences. Carolina and Javier know Antonio. Okay. So, Carolina y Javier conocen a Antonio. So, again, don't forget the A, but uh, it's they know, so conocen. How about this one? Carolina is new. You, this is older vocabulary, okay? But let's say Carolina is new to her job. How would you say that? Carolina es nueva. Okay, new, nuevo, but because she's feminine, nueva. Carolina es nueva. She does not know the job. Now, what no are we talking about this time? Is it a person or a thing? Well, the job is a thing. So she does not know. We want to use saber. And uh, the not, remember, she no, no. That sounds terrible in English. But uh, what we have here is no sabe el trabajo. Ella no sabe el trabajo. But she does know how to work. All right. So that would translate to, pero sí sabe trabajar. In English, we use the does for emphasis in the sentence. Here we use sí, C sí means yes. No, we know in English, sí is yes. Okay, but it's pero. And I, what I wanted to point out, sabe el trabajo. So if you have a noun, sabe el trabajo. Uh, if you're using a verb, you want to use the infinitive form. So sí sabe trabajar. If you say, no sabe trabajar, that's more like, you know, you don't know how to work, kind of like you're lazy, okay? So what I'm saying in the sentence is, maybe she doesn't know the work uh, that is part of this new job of hers, but she's a good worker. She knows how to work hard, so, pero sí, sabe trabajar. Let's see how you do on your own now. You know the teacher. How would you say that? Which no would you need? Usted conoce a la profesora. Conoce a la profesora. A la profesora. Okay. Um, conocer, because it's a person. 
Now, what about this? Do you know the teacher? How would you make it a question? Well, remember, I told you in Spanish, they don't use do. So guess what? The question is worded the same way as the, the, the statement. The only difference is your inflection, the, your voice. So, uh, you know the teacher, conoce a la profesora. The question is, conoce a la profesora? I'm just changing my voice to make it a question. Conoce a la profesora? There's lots of good things about Spanish, a lot of things that make your life easy. So, um, conoce la profesora? Finally, do you know the word? Well, we need a different verb here, don't we? Sabe la palabra? Sabe la palabra? Good job today. I'll let you go for now. Thank you as always for watching. Check out more videos at apexlanguages.com. And until we meet again, have a happy, healthy, safe rest of your weekend. Especially if you're a mother out there. Happy Mother's Day. Feliz Dia de la Madre.